Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. I have one of the, no, the best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck, I've won the Nuka Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. Well, look around you. Toys, banners, stools. Anything I can get my hands on, really. My pride and joy is my perfect Nuka Cola machine. It's barely even scratched. Actually, I have to give credit to Ronald for donating some of it. Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter girder shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. I sure did. Want to take it now? How can you resist? This stuff is so cool. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here is a little pick me up an ice cold Nuka Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka Cola Quantum. Well, Right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum, it was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your, um, your pee glow. I love the stuff. I can't get enough of it. I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more. That's right. You bring me Nuka Cola Quantum, and I pay you. Handsomely, I might add. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find, like, enough bottles to fill my Nuka Cola machine, 30 in all, I've got a super secret cool prize for you. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka Grenade, the only one in the whole Capital Wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. Imagine the look on the target's face when they are burning alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit flavors. So, what do you say? Will you bring me the bottles? Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. In fact, I do. 
<laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka-Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. Well, the DC facility was like their main factory just before the bombs fell. All the research they did was performed there. It was the only facility to ever produce quantum. They were in a test market mode, and they would have expanded production if the drink caught on. Too bad they didn't. Otherwise, quantum would be as plentiful as regular Nuka-Cola. I don't know a whole lot about weapons, but I do know that it's more powerful than a regular grenade. It explodes in a huge blue flame, too. How cool is that? Well, besides what I've already told you, not much. They were working on a way to prevent the glow from remaining once it passed through a person's system, but it was never perfected. I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Well, the bottles are glass just like regular Nuka-Cola, except the glass is clear. That way, the glowy stuff inside shows through. You'll know it when you see it. Oh my! It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body! Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time! It's quite a rush! <laughs> Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. So, who might you be, and what brings you out to our little paradise? That's all, huh? You better be. Because I warn you, I don't like anyone messing around with my woman. Well, that's likely because it's none of anyone's business but ours. But, hey, she's a fine-looking lady. I mean, you're no slouch either, but a man has his standards, you know. Wow, you are as naive as you look. How do I put it? I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plow her bean field. Come on, kid. New to this stuff, huh, kid? Well, let's just say that she has something I want to get a hold of. That's where you enter the picture. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. Well, look, don't answer me now, just keep it in mind. If you find some, and you've had a change of heart, I'll still buy them. Oh, and I wouldn't bother running back to Sierra and warning her. She won't even understand what you're talking about. She may be a hottie, but she's a bit vacant in the smarts department. He has? Oh, that sweetheart! I knew he'd help me! All that guy does is watch out for me all the time. That's so silly. Why would a man want to wear a pair of these filthy woman's pants? Doesn't make sense. I bet you and him cooked up that line just to make me smile. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. That stuff is some of the nastiest shit I've ever had. Imagine drinking a Nuka-Cola, then downing a fistful of sugar and punching yourself in the head. That pretty much sums it up. Sierra shared one with me a long time ago. After I drank it, my piss glowed for a week. Hey, if this thing with Sierra doesn't work out, 